This is easily one of the most bizarre insects in the animal kingdom. You could see they've got that scorpion-like tail. Okay, it's in my hand. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. There are some legends, some reports that this sting is the most painful, stinging creature in the world. Shall we see how bad the sting of a scorpion fly is? Should we? I think you'd be interested to find out. Let's take a look here. My name is Jack, and for the past few years I've been searching all over the globe for the most unique and interesting invertebrates alive. The world is full of painful stings. Come on. Oh, wow, actually, that is definitely worse than the warrior wasp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, uh, uh it's, um... Oh man, oh man, it's definitely worse than the tarantula hawk wasp. Creepy crawlies with more legs than you could imagine. And some of the most alien life forms you've ever seen. In today's video, I'm searching for a creature that combines all of these attributes. Well, sort of. Today, we're looking for the nuptial scorpion fly. These bizarre insects emerge in the fall to breed, so we're setting out to find one to show you all at home. Let's discover the truth about the nuptial scorpion fly. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I am in some very interesting and unique habitat, and I'm looking for some very interesting and unique creatures. Today, I am searching for the nuptial scorpion fly. Now, these are some of the most bizarre insects in the entire world, at least in my opinion. I'll see how you feel after we find one. And we're going to be answering a few questions about these very little known insects, because you might not have even heard of one ever in your life. So do these creatures sting? How do they mate? Why do they look like this? These are all questions that will soon be answered, so stay tuned, and we're going to try and rustle up one of these scorpion flies. So uh, hold on to your seats, because this is going to be one heck of an interesting video. Let's go. Now, these scorpion flies will readily feed on weakened or dead insects, so we are walking this little trail in hopes of coming across maybe some smashed bugs that these scorpion flies might be dining on. Okay, I just spotted one. Come in a little closer. They've been kind of sitting on these dead grasshoppers. I'm gonna try and catch it in this little container. These can fly, of course. Oh, okay, perfect. <sighs> Take a look at this creature. Oh, this is easily one of the most bizarre insects in the animal kingdom. You can see they've got that scorpion-like tail with this bizarre stinger or pincer-like appendage right there at the end. And it is one of the creepiest looking insects. Now these, once again, are scorpion flies. They belong to a larger group. And they are <clears throat> odd, to say the least. Very, very, very odd. Now this particular species, the nuptial scorpion fly, they're out here doing something you might be able to infer 
by their common name. Nuptial, that's right, like nuptials, like you're getting married, or perhaps jumping right past the festivities to the honeymoon and mating. These creatures are out here mating in full force, and they are some of the most bizarre and interesting little insects. Shall we see how bad the sting of a scorpion fly is? Should we? I think you'd be interested to find out. Let's take a look here. Okay, he's in my hand. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. There are some legends, some reports that this sting is the most painful stinging creature in the world. Some people have been driven mad by the pain of this unique and interesting insect. So we're gonna, I'm gonna grab onto it here. Oh my gosh, ah! Do you see it? Ah! 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 Did I get you? That's right, this amazingly unique appendage right here is not a stinger. No, this is part of the reproductive system of the males. So right now he's poking and prodding me with his genitalia in order to try and convince me not to eat him. Uh, these are not capable of stinging at all. And in fact, this appendage is absent on the females because once again, this is the, this is the male's uh, fun organ, so to speak. Uh, so they've got this nice little clasp on there and all that does is aid in the mating process. But I thought it'd be really cool to break the myth uh, that these scorpion flies can sting like a scorpion because a lot of people when they first hear about these creatures think, oh my gosh, scorpions that can fly? That sounds horrible. Uh, when in reality, these are insects. They are not arachnids. They're not really related to scorpions other than being uh, uh, invertebrates. Uh, you can still see that weird pinching tail clasping back and forth. How odd of a creature is that? Ugh, so weird. So you might be at home wondering, what the heck does this thing even eat, right? Well, most scorpion flies are omnivores, which means they feed on a variety of things. That could be plant material, fruit juices, uh, but they will also feed on dead or weakened insects. And that's actually how we're finding them out here. They are on top of these dead crickets on this little trail. And I think that what they're doing is preparing a nuptial meal. These little insects are very interesting because they will actually present the female with a nuptial meal sometimes. They've got a very elaborate mating behavior. They'll flash those beautiful striped wings and they'll do these little dances and they'll hypnotize and seduce their beautiful female scorpion fly. And then they'll use that lovely pincer on the end to mate with her, and they will actually provide a nuptial meal. Now you might think, okay, well, I knew that nuptial meant mating, so a mating meal, that's right, that's correct. These lovely little males will wine and dine their lovely female counterparts, and the females who have a hearty nuptial meal actually are able to have the nutrition to lay more eggs. Uh, so it is a very, very interesting process, and these are shockingly bizarre insects. Now these belong to a group called Mechoptera and what that means is long wing and you can see that these wings are quite long. Uh, however, even though these wings are quite long, uh, these animals actually usually just fly short distances, uh, which is why it was fairly easy to catch it in one of these containers. They kind of make quick little bursts, hop flights, if you will, um, from place to place. And we've actually seen more of these here tonight than I have ever seen in my life. Before this moment, before today, I'd only ever seen one of these in my entire life, and it was just last year. And now, today, I think I've seen about 10. They are all over the place, nuptialing, if you know what I mean. But I just wanted to show you guys the most bizarre and freaky insect out there 
the nuptial scorpion fly. These are such a bizarre group of insects and one you don't get to see too often. Uh, if you're interested in looking for these, uh, they, have, they emerge in the late fall. Uh, and so they can be fairly common throughout October and November if you know where to look. Uh, they can inhabit a variety of ecosystems. The first one I ever saw was in a, uh, a very heavily wooded area. And as you can see, I'm kind of in this open field uh, today. But uh, how bizarre of a creature is that? Take one last look at this thing as it's like trying to pinch my finger. What the heck? It's so weird. I should put it on my face. Oh, it just fell. <laughs> Super, super weird. There, you can see, not not great flyers. Super, super bizarre. Look at that thing. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever seen a more interesting and strange looking insect? These are just mind boggling how weird and alien they look. I mean, you could seriously drop this insect into a sci-fi movie and no one would blink an eye, especially when I whipped out my macro lens and got to see the close detail on this creature. It is just shocking how different it is body plan wise from almost any other invertebrate that you can find. It is such an odd amalgam of body parts, an insect chimera, if you will. It is just bizarre. Well, my friends, I hope that uh, you were enlightened by this experience. Our lovely, lovely, lovely nuptial scorpion fly we're about to let this esteemed gentleman get back to nuptialing if you know what i mean uh but uh, once again just take one last look at this spectacularly bizarre insect i mean have you ever seen a more odd oddball i mean seriously there are people walking around today that have no idea that something like this creature here exists. Man, look at that thing. Oh, so bizarre. Should I put it on my face? Yeah. Now it's a little lapel. Oh no! It's gonna mate with my nose! Hopefully not. Take a look at that. What an odd little creature. Ooh. But anyway, super, super cool stuff. We're going to let this lovely little nuptial scorpion fly get back to uh, doing what nature intended for him to be doing right now this fall season. Um, but while I've got him here, thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope that you enjoyed learning about this crazy, mysterious, weird insect. And I hope I was once again able to dispel some myths or dispel some potential misconceptions about the not so aptly named scorpion fly. No, these do not sting. They are completely harmless. And I think that this one has been eating dead grasshoppers. And I'm just now remembering that now that he's on my face. So I think he's overstayed his welcome, so to speak. But we had a great time. I hope you guys learned something. So uh, we're going to say goodbye to our lovely little scorpion fly friend. And now we're going to say goodbye to me. So my friends, goodbye. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content and Patreon as well. Tune in for every video of Jack Turtle Wildlife until the end of time. And of course, my friends, I will see you next week. But until then, Take care of yourselves, and goodbye.